Many of you may not know this, but I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash biggdgeekdom101, where we do classic video games from the past, as well as some new ones too. Twitch.tv slash biggdgeekdom101. Give me a follow, and we'll have a good time. Granola just beat Goku. Ultra Instinct Goku, by the way. And he's about to fight Vegeta. But his main adversary, his main target... The man who he wants, well, if you can call him a man, the person he wants vengeance on is Frieza. But we've seen just how powerful Granola really is and how cunning he is. What the heck is Frieza going to do when Granola runs wild on him, as Hulk Hogan would say? Let's talk about it today on this video. We're going to talk about Frieza's role in this arc, what's going to happen with Granola and Frieza, and is Frieza going to be able to do anything? Like, does he have a, anything at all to, to compete with Granola? You know, is he going to have some kind of power or somebody to back him up? Like, I'm just talking about what, what can this guy do and what's his role going to be in this arc ultimately? So joining me on this video, please welcome to Geekdom 101. He's been around a long time. Many of you know him, but if you don't, I will leave a link to his channel down below or just click his name in the description. It just goes right to his channel. Power scaling, rants, Dragon Ball reviews, and opinions. Please welcome Sun TJ. What's up? Hello. It's been a, it's been a while. Um, Geek was on my channel first, so it feels so good to actually be on his channel. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it was like three years ago or whatever. Um, we talked about Hit, right? Yeah, it was about Hit. I think I was talking about, like, how is he going to come back in the story? I think it was right before he fought um, Goku again um, later on when they had the rematch. And since then, we have not heard a peep out of Hit or even anybody from Universe 6. We've we've had three story arcs, if you count Broly, and we've heard nothing from Universe 6. And that's kind of a shame because that's one place I really wanted to know more about, you know? Yeah, I'm really hoping for, like, a Universe 6, like, story where we have, like, I don't know, like, Goku training, um, Kel, Khalifa. You know, I'm hoping at least somewhere in there. But today we're here to talk about Frieza and his role in the story. So I think we are going to see Frieza because some people are saying we're not going to see him. We're going to see him at some point, probably later in the arc. I'm not sure where we go after Goku and Vegeta and Granola, like... You know, we know the heaters are around, but at some point, I do think Granola will confront Frieza at some point. And he's still going to want revenge. And obviously, here's where things get interesting. No one's going to cape for Frieza because we know from Dragon Ball Super Broly that Vegeta is actually also worried about Frieza doing something. And he also wants to protect the Earth from Frieza because he knows he's out there. Even though at the end of the movie, Gogeta could have killed him in one shot, it didn't happen, which is weird, but that's a whole other topic. So I don't think Vegeta's going to stick up for Frieza. No, I don't, no, though, like, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just saying, I don't know what Frieza can do, bro, because Granola's faster. Unless Frieza has some kind of ass pull, like, you know, Platinum Frieza or something like that, which I don't think he's going to have. I, I just think Granola, if he does confront Frieza, he's going to just kill him in one shot, easily, with one finger. At the, the way he knocked out Goku, bro, Frieza couldn't do anything against him. What do you think? Does Frieza have a backup plan? Does he have, like, a bodyguard or something? I don't know. What do you think? Two ways of thinking about this. I got to think about the power scaling way at first because, you know, Frieza at the beginning of Terminal Power was said multiple times to be at least equal to Blue Goku. And we're not counting, you know, the Blue Kaioken that was somewhat in the manga, but mostly prevalent in the anime. Right. And at the end of the Terminal of Power, he was somewhat able to, like, fight a weak in Jiren, right? But then in the Broly movie, it could be implied that Golden Frieza was actually stronger than both Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta, depending if you're using the anime or manga, because that could be mastered Blue, because he was able to take a beating from Broly for 30 minutes in Golden Frieza. So no, it was longer than that. It. it was longer yeah, than even that. Because it was two Gogetas that, that messed up the fusion. It's like an hour. Exactly. <laughs> so like, yeah. we know he has the durability at least higher than Blue Goku and Vegeta in that movie. That's for but, sure. So and Vegeta feared Frieza because of his potential. So if if Frieza at least again, he had the biggest power jump if we're not counting Broly with the whole Golden Frieza thing. So right. could he have a power up and they could reuse, I don't know, Cooler's transformation, kind of how they reuse 
uh, Broly's transformation to Broly movie right. could be possible, but that'd be in the asshole situation. But like right. again, I don't know if I want another Frieza beat down part Infinity because we got nothing but Frieza beat downs this entire time. And even um, in Terminator of Power, he had a bunch of beatdowns. But I don't even think Granola would just beat him down. I think Granola would just kill him and that's it. Then again, you know what? I could totally see a thing where Granola tries to humiliate him to make him pay for all his crimes. So I think exactly. actually you might be right. Yeah, he might try to humiliate him. And we have, you know, his army, but Granola can wipe them out. I don't think Broly's going to go work for Frieza ever again. That he's, he's over here getting his first piece of ass on Planet Vampa, so I don't think he cares. Um, no. The only thing I could think of is that the heaters might want to protect Frieza, but also the heaters want to overthrow Frieza. So why would they even stick up for him? My only idea, maybe, is that Gas is stronger than like UI Goku and Granola because they keep hyping up Gas. You're right. Like the, You're right. Because he's, he's I, in my channel when I re, when I do my reviews, I'm terrible with names. I call them the Dreadlock Squad. So Gas is the strongest huh. of the Dreadlock Squad. We already know what he right. is. And I think he might be the key. If Freeze is able to manipulate everything, if he's not going to get no BS power up, if they're not going to do another Dragon Wish and somehow Frieza, because Frieza has gotten Wish from the Dragon Balls, or he, he had the idea for it, but he never went for, I want to be the strongest in the universe type of thing since like, well, he wanted immortality. He but wanted to be taller. Oh yeah, he wanted to be taller as well. So if he's able to at least manipulate the Dreadlock Squad and get Gas on his side, and Gas is actually stronger than both UI and Granola, then I think that's the way Frieza can like actually, I don't know, Game of Thrones his way into, I don't know, being a big threat in this arc. By the way, folks, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you check out Sun TJ and leave a comment about your thoughts on this before we keep going. So do that right now for me. Leave a like. That I really appreciate that. It helps the channel out quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, I... Uh, man, I, 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 I'm with you. I don't want any ass pulls. I think Frieza will try to escape somehow. I think what will end up happening is, like you mentioned, Gas. I, I, I don't... Okay, maybe Gas is on the level relative to UI Goku and Vegeta. Maybe, maybe, right? But if that's the case, is he stronger than Granola? Because Granola made the wish to be the strongest in Universe 7, and he got it. I mean, clearly, clearly. So all I could think of is that Gas is going to make the wish to be stronger than the strongest, right? Like he'll, he'll, you basically, they'll, they'll, cause you, we know the heaters are going to use, are going to get the balls at some point. And yeah. then gas could, could protect Frieza. But then the question of course is why would he even do that? If he's going to eventually overthrow Frieza, unless his plan is to maybe like take Frieza, Frieza hostage and sort of make Frieza like a puppet dictator. Like the heaters would be in charge of the army behind the scenes and Frieza would just be like the, the figurehead. They could do something like that, but I feel like that's also too deep for Dragon Ball. That exactly. That's not Toriyama <laughs> style, you know? Yeah, like um, it just, it really depends how you interpret Granola's power. Because I know some people think, you know, he one shot Ultra Instinct, but it's really implied that he waited for the accuracy, depending how you look at it, to go down. So we all, we, so we know. Yeah, and and also the pressure point, pressure point too. Exactly. So, like, because yeah. we know UI gives Goku defense against, like, you know, attacks, but pressure points is different than just bare bone attacks. So. It was just more, though, that Granola hit UI Goku's weaknesses pretty well. So we yeah. know he's relative. We don't know if that automatically made him stronger than UI. So, But the fact that they've been protecting Gas this entire time, because as we remember, Granola, as soon as he got his wish, he completely humiliated the entire Dreadhead squad until Gas was about to fight him, and they said, no, you don't need to fight right. him. Right, yeah, they, they, they held that back. Yeah, yeah. So they've been protecting Gas a lot. So that's why I'm getting the fact that maybe he's actually stronger, even though I don't know how that works. Yeah, how, he's he, really showing you. How does that work if he made the wish already? Like, that's what I'm saying. Unless the only thing that could make any possible sense, and this is a long shot, is when Granola made that wish, Gas was not in Universe 7. He was somewhere else. And then, so that way, then, then you know what I'm saying? But that seems like a, like, that would kind of piss me off. That kind of comes off like even more of an ass pull. Oh, okay, we left Universe 7 somehow. You're not even supposed to leave universes if you're immortal without the cube. So that isn't even possible. So I feel like maybe Gas has the potential to be the strongest, but he's not quite there. So I think he may need a boost. Also, do you think that OG73 will have anything to do with the Frieza thing, bro? Like, what do you think that there's a chance that Frieza could reprogram him, or maybe that'll be his protector? Or, like, where do you see? Oh, because that's, an, that's another plot that's been kind of, yeah. you know, held back a little bit. I don't know. What do you think about OG73? 
Actually, that might be a big part of it because didn't they say that he still has all the powers of the people he absorbed? I think they did say that because I think I think Moro, I think I, I forget if it's I actually forgot if it's Moro seven three or just seven three that has like a time limit on the powers. So I don't remember off the top of my head right now, bro. Like, put me on the I spot. That um, he was very important because they, they he was very important because he still had all the data. Yeah. And everything. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Right. So that, so that might be a big part of either Frieza having a tactical advantage or getting a power up. Either yeah. like he might be the key to it. I just don't. If they fought right now, I just don't see how Frieza could stand a chance oh, against Granola. Oh no, he's getting his ass whooped. <laughs> like yeah. it's going to be a whole scene about it. Like again, I know people joke about Vegeta, especially me. I joke about him a lot about him losing again, beat down a lot. But Frieza is right up there. Like right. I just don't know if I want to see because. Frieza, ever since he lost to Goku, has been a little bit of a laughing stock. He got his he's got his redemption when he got the golden form, especially in the term of the power. But like after Broly, it's like he's on another laughing stock tour. So if Granola is saving half of his power after he lost to UI Goku and all that, Frieza's gotta be some type of a threat, either in tactical form or in power form. It just I don't want to see another like he's just a gag, like, oh, you're just oh, you're just weak as hell. Like once he finally meets Frieza. Like I want there to be some type of tension. And I know some people are probably going to assume that, like, you know, that cooler might show up and get, like, rewritten by Toriyama to protect Frieza. And even though I understand people might think that's going to happen, I don't think it's going to happen because I feel like cooler being re, re you know, I guess rebooted by Toriyama. Um, I feel like if they do that, that's too big of a deal to put in the manga. I think that's for a movie. I think if the movie comes out next year and they do cooler in that, that makes sense. But I think having cooler get rebooted in the manga, I just don't feel like, cause the manga isn't even that successful. Like it does okay in Japan, but it's not even touching some, uh, it's not even touching like one piece or my hero or any of those. It's just not that big. I think for Dragon Ball, the anime and the movies is where it's at. I mean, Toriyama's not even writing the manga anymore. It's Toriyotaro pretty much. And if it was Toriyama, maybe it would be doing better, but it's not. It's just based on on his respect. So I don't think Cooler's going to be involved. I mean, if it happens, okay, but I just don't see that happening. I just don't see it. Unless maybe their plan is to do the the end of the granola arc as a movie, but then that would confuse all the fans who don't read the manga. So it's... That's too convoluted, if you ask me. I think Free's going to try and escape, bro, but Granola's so fast. I mean, we saw this guy. He might not be as fast as Silver-Haired Goku, but he's pretty damn fast. I mean, we saw him use a version of instantaneous movement. So to me, like, that Free, Frieza won't be able to run away. So all I could think of is that he doesn't know where Frieza's location is at, and that'll buy Frieza some time, but does Frieza even know he's coming after him? We don't even know that, you know? What are your final yeah. thoughts on this? My my final thoughts is that um, I just in my mind, because Frieza is either like one of my favorite or if not my favorite villain in Dragon Ball. That's my and favorite. I don't want, exactly. I definitely know it's yours. And I just don't want him to be a person who runs away. I know he's a coward and he's got his different stuff. But like when I think about him as a villain, I think about him fighting. I don't think about people right. protecting. Fighting and losing, so, but not running away. Not often. Ex- Exactly. So, like, I'd rather him be, I'd rather him go out on his sword than go out like a B word. So, like, I, I'd rather that be a thing. And for Granola, um, he just, like, if you watch Naruto, he's literally like a, a, a Dragon Ball character with Byakugan. Like, that's pretty much his big ordeal. So, I just really figure if Frieza's able to figure out a way to either get that, um, OG73, um, abilities or somewhat, or able to like somehow, some way finesse himself in this situation, I think he could be a big threat. But I don't think they're going to do Frieza as the main villain again. I just think he's going to be a big part of whoever the main villain is. I don't think the main villain is Granola. I think the main villain is somewhere in the gas area because they've been hiding him and protecting him this entire time. I think it's either gas or OG73. Honestly, Maybe. that that's all, I, or some kind of combination of the two. That that's that's what I think. That unless there's somebody else out there that hasn't been introduced yet. Yeah, I don't think Freeze is the main villain. I don't think he's ever going to be a main villain again. I think he's going to be a, a character, but I don't see him being a main threat ever again. He's just he's already played that role twice, actually. So yeah. um, I think that, yeah, I don't think, yeah, I think that makes sense. Anyways, once again, folks, check out Sun TJ. Have a great, great 4th of July weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.